Welcome to Canberra, the national capital. Um, fascinating place. You must visit. And this is just a summary of some of the key things to do. National Museum. Super, super modern building. Look at all this. How cool is this? Old FJ Holden and a caravan of the era. Except you forgot to hook her up. Matabarasaurus. Matabarasaurus. This is magnificently restored home. If you want to get a bird's eye view of Canberra, you must visit Telstra Tower that was opened in 1980 um, by Malcolm Fraser, who was the Prime Minister then. It's also known as Black Mountain Tower. Um, it's a telecommunications tower and lookout that's situated above the summit of Black Mountain in the Australia's capital city of Canberra. And it's named after Australia's largest telecommunications company, Telstra which owns and operates a tower and actually rises 195.2 metres above the mountain summit and it's an absolute landmark in Canberra and you can just see the views are absolutely stunning in every direction, 360 degree views, beautiful. Parliament House in Canberra is another um, must see place and what's really interesting is that it's built um, into the hill not on top of the hill because that would be perceived to be dominating the public and it's actually a, a place that invites the public to come and public can come and view sitting parliament meetings any time of year and the front walls actually are like arms that stretch out inviting people in and in the um, forecourt is a mosaic um, tile pattern that's just stunning to look at. Mosaic pattern um, is Aboriginal and it covers 196 square metres and it actually stands for the place where all people come and meet together. The marble foyer itself is something unbelievable and features 48 marble columns that evoke the muted pinks and greens of the Australian landscape. The Senate Chamber or the Upper House has 76 Senators from 12 from each state and two from each of the Northern Territory and the Australian Capital Territory. And the House of Representatives, on the other hand, um, has 151 members, and it's the lower house in which government is formed. The colour scheme of the house reflects the green associated with the British Parliament's House of Commons and the eucalypt green of the Australian landscape, and the colours in the chamber are deepest at ground level and become lighter as they extend upwards. Beautiful building. The Australian War Memorial is another must visit place and very dear to my heart as my grandfather was an Anzac. So it's a very moving place and a tribute to all of our soldiers who fought in all the wars. There's a plaque on the wall for each fallen soldier. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is also a very moving part of the War Memorial. And it's the body of an unknown soldier that was brought from France in 1993. Um, to celebrate the 75th year after World War I. And it's just um, so moving and beautiful lead light windows. This is the submarine that ended Sydney Harbour. Blew up a manly ferry. In the War Memorial, there's a number of static displays depicting the various battles that took place in mainly the First World War. And there's also this fantastic Lancaster bomber, G for George. And this um, in, was ordered in 1940s and came to Australia in 1944, um, which was given to Australia by the RAF, and it actually conducted more bombing 
um, operations than any other bomber in the war. So we hope you've enjoyed this bit of an overview and please hit the subscribe button below and we hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe.